What a night in Salt Lake City. Not only does Utah become just the fourth team this year to go 198, Oregon State puts up its best road score of the year. We knew it was gonna be special coming in because we had three Olympians, three medalists in action, including Jade Carey from Oregon State and Grace McCallum from Utah. One grew up in Arizona, the other grew up in Minnesota, but they both ended up at the Olympics. And tonight, they shared a reunion hug on the floor at the Huntsman Center. Best friends now, now and forever. The gymnastics couldn't have been better. We started out with those two, Grace McCallum on the vault with a 9.85 for the Red Rocks of the U of U. What well, unique vault that half onto the table, front half off. And if Utah starts in the vault, that means Oregon State begins on the bars and Jade Carey in the anchor spot. They had a mistake in the middle of this rotation, so to have her in the anchor spot is very important, and it was a 9-9-5. I questioned if it was gonna be a perfect 10, but it was just close. Good enough for Carey to win the bars. They switch sides. In the second rotation, it's Grace McCallum on those same bars with the same score, 9-9-5. She was stunning throughout that routine, just a little off on that landing, leaning back and taking the step. Yeah, just rolled off the heels. Jade Carey in the anchor spot moments later in the vault. 9975, nearly perfect. Should it have been? <laughs> I think her face says it all. Definitely the best vault I've seen her do as a collegiate gymnast. Well, her head coach, Mike Chaplin, who was high tenure there in the pit, he said it should have been a 10. I agree. Crystalisa was perfect on the beam. Well, you could see that straddle jump showing off her flexibility, but it's her personality from start to finish as she was setting up here for the dismount, launching straight up, setting in for a full twist off the side, and nailing the landing. Well, you asked her afterward, did you know it was a 10? She said, no, I just knew it was good. Her teammates knew it was a 10. First time ever in her career, which is probably the most surprising part because she's been really good for a really long time. Move to the fourth rotation and Oregon State on the beam with the great Maddie Dagan, another 9.95. Well, a great performance, but their leadoff routine had a fall, so the back five had to hit, and that is exactly what they did. 49-425, season best rotation on the beam for the Beavs. Sydney Solosky closing out the meet, anchor spot on the floor, great once again. Such a great way to finish this competition. She is fun, she is exciting, tumbling, and she brought down the house. The fans loved it. Solosky shares the win. Three Red Rocks go 9-9-2-5. Solosky, McCallum, and Abby Paulson. And the all-around goes to Jade Carey. Carey puts up a 39-7. She's still undefeated in the all-around. McCallum second, 39-6-2-5. Maddie Dagan was third. For Amanda Borden, I'm Jim Watson saying so long from Salt Lake City. The Red Rocks, 198 flat. Best score of the year for them. And Oregon State, their best road score of the year, 197-150.